next is going to be a lesson about ionic compounds. The important thing to know about ionic compounds is that they're made by metals and nonmetals bonding together. So if we take a look at our periodic table and refresh our memory, our metals are seen over here on the left-hand side of the periodic table. Our staircase separates our metals, our metals from our nonmetals. Our nonmetals are above the staircase. We're going to be looking at different compounds and trying to name them. So let's take a look at what I mean here with this example, lithium oxide. How do I write a formula for this name, lithium oxide? Well, let's bring back the periodic table and find lithium and oxygen. Oxide is just another name for oxygen. So let's find lithium, here's lithium, and oxide, which is oxygen, right here. Oxide is the name given when oxygen turns into an ion, which we'll talk about more later. So if you notice, here's the staircase. Lithium's a metal, oxygen's a nonmetal. We have an ionic compound. So how do I name this? Well, I've labeled a couple important things on the periodic table, which you should do the same. And that is, I showed you the charges that these atoms turn into when they become ions. So lithium, when it becomes an ion, turns into one plus. Oxygen, when it turns into an ion, becomes a two minus. And since we're making ionic compounds with ions, these are the charges we're going to be using. Okay, so let's write that down. Again, we said lithium turns into a one plus ion. Oxygen turns into a two minus ion. Okay. Now, in order to write this formula, watch what I'm going to do here. I need to take these charges and balance them out, meaning I have to make them neutral. I have a plus one here and a two minus here. That's not neutral. So if I add another lithium now, let's add that up, a plus and a plus make two plus. And if I take just my one oxygen, I get the two minus. Two plus and two minus, that yields a zero neutral charge. That's what we want to do. We want to make them equal to each other so that they cancel out. Two positive and two negative cancel out to zero. So now in order to write the formula, the neutral formula, you write how many of each of these ions you needed. I needed two of the lithium, one, two, two of the lithium, and only one oxygen. Notice I do not write the one. The one is invisible. If you wrote the one, it would be wrong. So I wrote Li2O. It is a neutral compound, so there are no charges, no ions, because they balanced out. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another example. Let's take a look at potassium nitride. Let's bring back our periodic table and find potassium, which is right here, K, in the plus one column. So it is K plus one. And nitride is just another name for nitrogen when it's an ion. So here is nitrogen with a three minus charge. All right, let's remember that and work with this one. So potassium is K, we said with a plus one charge and nitride is N with a three minus charge. Okay, how many of these do I need to balance them out? Well, plus one and three minus are not neutral. I haven't balanced them yet. So watch as I add three Ks here, K plus, K plus, K plus. What is that total? One, two, three pluses. So here are three pluses. And then to balance out my three minus seen here. I only need one nitrogen with a three minus to balance out these K's. So since each K comes with a one plus, I need three times as many of them. Three plus and three minus give me zero. That's the goal to make them neutral. So how do I represent that in a formula? K, how many of them did I need? One, two, three. 
How many of the ends did I need? I only needed one of them. K3N. That's my neutral formula. No charges, just how many of each I need. I need three Ks and one N to make it neutral. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, let's get our periodic table. Here is sodium with a plus one. Here is chloride with a minus one. All right, let's begin. Here is my sodium, we said, with a plus one. Here's my chloride with a minus one. All right, plus one and minus one, how many of each do I need to make neutral? Well, this one's easy. They're neutralized with just one of each, right? I have one plus, I have one minus. That gives me zero, which is a neutral charge. That was the goal, make it neutral. So how do I represent that? 1Na for 1Cl. There you go. No ones are written, that would be wrong. But there is one of each, we just don't write one. It is assumed. Okay. Notice there's no charges. Our formula never tells us charges. Our formula tells us how many of each we needed to neutralize it. That's what our formula tells us. Okay. And let's try our last example, which is a little bit trickier. Aluminum oxide. Find aluminum on a 3 plus. Oxide, which is just oxygen with a 2 minus. Metal and a nonmetal. So let's try this one out. We said aluminum has a charge of 3 plus, oxygen has a charge of 2 minus. All right, look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add another aluminum here and total this up. 3 plus and 3 plus give me 6 plus. Okay? Now, how do I get 6 minus on this side? Well, watch what I do here. 2 minus, 2 minus, and 2 minus. That's 2 4, 6 minus. So if I take three oxygens, each with a 2 minus, I get 6 minus. 2, 4, 6. And if I have two of these, I get 6 plus. 6 plus and 6 minus give me 0, which is neutral. That's the goal. Another good way of looking at it is saying to yourself, if this is what I have to work with, what is a common multiple between 3 and 2? 6. How do I get 6? I multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 3. Therefore, 2 and 3. Okay? How do I write the formula? Well, I need 2 ALs and 3 oxygens. 2 ALs and 3 oxygens. Neutral, no charge. All right. So, that is the end of the lesson, but here are some common mistakes you don't want to make. If we take a look at our example with lithium, let me bring that back. Here's our example with lithium oxide. And if you remember here, I needed two lithiums for one oxygen. A mistake would be to write it like this. This would be a mistake, Li2O1. Remember, we don't write a 1, so you do not want to include a 1. This would be a mistake. It is just the rule. All right, another mistake would be to write it like this. This is another mistake. While, yes, lithium does, has a po does have a positive charge, and oxygen does have a 2 minus charge, we don't write the charges in. So this is a mistake. Okay? Remember, this would be the correct way to write it. Right here. This is the mistake. This is correct. That's the mistake. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to watch it again.